Hello, I'm back. Yep. No, really, I'm back. Then again, maybe I'm back. We never know with me, do we? Anyhow, hi. How's everybody been? People, the drama is not what we're talking about today. Well, there is one tiny bit of drama that maybe I'm going to talk about. Did you hear that Kanye West wants to run for president? Have you heard any of his platform? He wants to run the U.S. based on Wakanda. Anybody who has seen the Black Panther movie knows what I am talking about. Um, um, they've had millennia with that fancy nifty metal that they use for everything. I do believe that unless Mr. West has found something he ain't told us about yet, he's going to have a little problem with the Wakanda model. Anyway, why? <laughs> oh, yeah. Hi, peeps. Hi, more peeps. Hi, less peeps. Hi, less peeps. Hi, more peeps. You know that 200 follower mark that I finally got to? I have been up and down and up and down and up and down across that line so much over the last few days they've about erased the line. <laughs> it's silly. Oh, anyway, I figured we'd just natter a little bit and I'd stick some makeup on. One of the features in this makeup, though, is COVID has been a pain in my tuchus because it held up the delivery on my classy cake, my first order of classy cake. Now, I have been waiting for this forever, or at least it feels like it, but Miss Sandra did her absolutely glorious job once she was able to get materials ordered in and all that stuff and it's like I don't know how she gets time to even do this stuff at this point I mean she's got a kid who is not in school out from underfoot so anyway I got it this is a highlighter this is a highlighter now, there's a lot of colors in here that are named for people I actually have collabed with, like Leanne and Nona and Glamburger. And, well, I, there was a big group collab that I worked with, um, Christopher J. And then there's Miss Anya, who I actually know personally, Miss Pink Sweets. She's this really pretty highlighter over here and I think Sandra Bell is named for the woman herself mm -hmm. anyway that's the other highlighter but there are some absolutely glorious things in here and I'm shimmers shimmers are usually where most indie brand and startup makeup companies start if they're starting with a eyeshadow palette or eyeshadow colors so I'm going to be picking up a couple of my other small palettes with some mattes in it, but oh my goodness. Look at that. Look at that. So pretty. These things are gorgeous. Now if I remember correctly, she's got highlighters in individuals. She's got some named palettes and this is one of the ones where you just pick what you want and it gets tucked in. Um, but she's got some that are kind of named for particular color themes I believe and she's got lip gloss and let me tell you I'm gonna be adding to my collection a bit like a ooh, pretty just too pretty. Anyhow, how y'all been? 
I've been just kind of plugging along here. Got all kinds of foolishness going on in the world, which I'm getting real tired of. Got the wrong little jar out. Let's see if that's the right little jar. Maybe this is the right little jar. I don't know. I've got stuff tucked away everywhere at this point. I've been trying to get stuff straightened out so I can find it when I think of one. But, yeah, it gets to a point where I am occasionally just too bored with rearranging and, and organizing and rearranging and organizing to a point where I just don't want it anymore. I can't tell you the last time I, shh, don't tell anybody, I can't tell you the last time I washed brushes. I just keep pulling more brushes out again. It, it, you can't trust me with anything. I just, I was doing so good on that keeping my brushes up project. And then I got stuck in the house and I said, foobar, <laughs> never mind. I'm not going to do it. Anyway, anybody else going absolutely stir crazy? I've gotten to a point now where I not only have all of my homework done in my classes, like within the first day or two, for all of it, I'm actually, even though I know the story backwards and forwards, I'm actually rereading in the paper edition To Kill a Mockingbird, because that's one of the two novels we have to read for this class. And I'm like, I already know this story, inside out, backwards and forth. I've read it repeatedly, and oh, what the heck, I'll just read it again. Whole thing. Because I'm bored. But, you know, extended analysis of the stories in the novels that we're reading for this class and then there's discussions we have to come up with a topic for well they kind of give you a topic and then you can take a shot from take a shot starting there and you put up an opinion on the novel based on these ideas and then you get into a debate with your teacher and your um, classmates and just back and forth and back and forth. And I'm going, okay, that took two days. Now what? It's just, it's, it's bizarre. It really is. It's just bizarre. And the little tiny town that I'm in, I mean, I'm out in the middle of ranch country in southeastern Oregon, also known as the edge of damn near Idaho. <laughs> it's faster to go to Idaho than it is to go to, to Portland from where I am in Oregon. I can get to Boise in two hours. It takes five and a half, six hours to get to Portland. Anyway, you know, and what little we have in this town, I mean, we've got a little bitty theater, well, a little bitty cinema, and we've got a community theater, but you can't win. Everybody's doing the social distance. We're on mandatory masking. And then somebody somebody got really cute with some of the windows in town. And they've done a image of Freddie Mercury in the yellow jacket with the fist in the air and the microphone and it says no mask on your face you big disgrace you know what the rest of the words are 
after they've fixed it. Spreading your germs all over the place. And, you know, we have some kick up from the, from the locals about going, I'm not going to wear no mask, you can't make me wear no mask, dot, 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 and I'm like, look, I'm not here to argue with you. Just get out of my way and stop giving me grief about me wearing a mask. My choice, shut up. That's about the height of the entertainment in this little town currently. Um, one of the stores we've decided we're not going into anytime soon. One of the employees was walking around. You know that net material they make practice jerseys for footballers out of for when they're practicing during the summer? And it's got those big holes so it looks like net all over, but it's the big hole. One of the employees is walking around with a mask on that's made out of that material. Yeah, no. <laughs> this is not what we meant. This was not at all what was meant when we said put a mask on. That wouldn't even work for Halloween, for pity's sake. Come on, now. Just... Y'all use some sense, please. Please. Just some. Ugh. I've had a couple of the... We had... We went to feed store to go pick up some dog food. I'm riding around in one of the little scooters. This old rancher type with his big old straw Stetson on his head is following me around trying to get right up in my business the whole time we're at the feed store and i've got my mask on he ain't got squat he's like coughing all around me and just being a nudge his daughter finally came and kind of reeled him in he thought it was funny just following people with masks on and getting right up next to him and doing all this coughing stuff and I'm like dude are you three <laughs> you know you, you gotta wonder what it is about somebody who's smart enough to work with ranch animals and thinks this is hilarious now he's got to be as old as i am if not older because he's doing the white hair shuffle in the whole nine yards but you would think somebody of that age wouldn't be quite so in a hurry to make a fool out of himself doing that I don't know what he was thinking. Oh, yeah. Miss Sandra sent me one of the Classy Cake label brushes. Now, this thing looks kind of like a flower with a thorn, but let me tell you, that little spot right there is really good placement for a finger to hold when you're doing the way out here's and trying to hold your brush from way out so that you're not putting pressure. That little thorn comes in real handy. It's got a nice little gentle curve back up towards the front. Now I have stuck my fingers in the classic cake repeatedly since I got it. But I haven't done an actual eye look with it yet. And I figured, what the heck, today is the day.
Now, for those of you who do not know, or do not know the difference, and such like, I've got hooded eyes. Let me tell you, I have got hooded eyes. If you want the ultimate explanation of hooded eyes, go see Miss Angie at 4F Beauty. She's got deep set eyes and has an amazing description of how to tell the difference between deep set eyes and hooded eyes. Now, she did this because deep set eyes and hooded eyes have very similar issues when it comes to some things. In both cases, there's a lot of eyelid that likes to rub against each other between the mobile and the static lid. And you end up with this big open area in the middle where there is nothing because the lids rubbing together have made it disappear. And with the hooded eyes, it's real simple. If I open my eyes completely, I don't actually have a mobile lid showing. Just wide open eyes. If you have deep set eyes, you'll have a bit of mobile lid showing. But when you open your eyes, you've got a chunk of the upper lid and the mobile lid that literally get folded back in here. So it's rubbing against each other. This upper lid with a hooded eye ends up getting kind of rolled down like a, a shade and comes all the way or almost all the way down to the eyelash line. So, you know, you end up having to put colors way high up because with your eyes wide open to see things and looking people in the face, your eyelids disappear. So you got to kind of tinker with it a little to get it to do what it needs to do so that people can actually not only see and enjoy your makeup, But you can enjoy your makeup because you'll be able to see it too. Just running another. I'm using the the mats out of the Nubian. Now I know some people out there in YouTube land are all kinds of head up about all the foolishness going on with some of the beauty community and some of the, well, they think they're beauty community. And then, you know, the drama channels are just going berserk. And I'm like, you know what? It's quiet over here where I am. I'll just sit here and mind my business. And I'm minding it. Okay. Now, even though the Miss Sandra over there in the corner is a highlighter, I'm picking up some of the highlighter. And I'm going to stick it right there. On account of I feel like it. Take one of my little 
cloths and clean that up in a minute. Now, I have been surfing YouTube pretty constantly ever since this lockdown has started. Any of the rest of you? Yeah. Just me then? All right. Um, but I've started running out of things to watch. I mean, I've gone through all of the usual suspects, um, all the people I normally watch on the beauty channels and the cooking channels and the history channels. And uh, I have discovered people. I have discovered people and then covered them back up. Um, it happens. <laughs> And it just, I'm running out of people. I mean, I, I have even found the British version of Judge Judy, okay? It's really interesting. Because apparently people in the UK can come up with as many bright ideas for a reason for a lawsuit as Americans can. And they're doing the same thing. They're suing their kids. They're suing their parents. They're suing people over stuff that didn't actually happen. And I'm going, what in the world? Are you guys bored or something? Show is Judge Rinder. R-I-N-D-E-R. -E Youngish guy sitting there with his little tab collar thing coming down with the black robe and the, the whole nine, you know, really interestingly pretty. British judicial system stuff. And I'm going, okay. But I couldn't believe that there were some people, that, that there were people in Britain that were just absolutely as nut job as some of the fruitcakes I've seen on Judge Judy over here. I'm going, I thought you guys had better sense. Well, at least the ones that I'm acquainted with in some way or another seem to have. Very strange. Anyway, I've been watching cooking, historical cooking, of all make, manner, and description. I've learned about arsenic in green wallpaper during the Victorian era. Anyway, clean up edges here. Okay, now you see this. This is a little bitty baby washcloth, one of the little microfiber baby washcloths. This is a bottle of Dollar Micellar Water. This is the, the dry and sensitive skin. Now, I still have a few standard makeup wipes, 
that I'm working through. I'm, I'm not going to throw them out. But I don't see that I really have a reason to purchase any further. Once they are gone. If you see what I mean. They're thin. They're flexible. You can get your finger in there. Get it wrapped around so you can get right down into it. A couple of drops of the micellar water to dampen it. There you go. You can pick these up at Dollar Tree, six for a dollar in a pack. And I just pitch them in the laundry when I've used up all the spaces I can get to. So far, so good. So far, so good. Alrighty, I've got eyebrows, got a little heavy there, okay, here, a little eye, I did it, I did it, da 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 yeah, that's what you, what, what, what you do when you can't remember how to say eyeliner senior moment eyeliner okay everybody look away if I think about you watching I won't be able to do it Now that's as far as I go because right here in this corner is where one of the folds from my silly hooded eye comes in. And things just disappear into it. Okay, left hand behave. Yes, I'm still practicing with the left hand. For any of you who missed that story long ago and far away, I was supposed to be left-handed. All indications are. Including a really strange type of dyslexia that they said most often happens when someone who is left-handed is forced to use their right hand and has to think kind of backwards just a little bit. You know, so if you lose use of your left hand, more than likely you're going to develop that odd little dyslexia issue. Now, I didn't lose use of my left hand. Back when I was a kid, everybody thought it was horrible to be left-handed. I'm 61. Yes, there were still people who thought that was something the devil did. A friend of mine had a similar issue, but she was going to a Catholic school and the penguins tied her hand to the desk. I wasn't tied to the desk. However, my mom, on advice of my pediatrician, tied my left hand to my side so I could not use it as often as I did my right hand so that I would get used to favoring my right hand. 
Now, I believe I've told this one one time before, but it just weird stuff parents do to kids. I swear. Just weird stuff. Little elf putty. This is the luminous. I found this great big fat brush. Well, actually, there was two to a package that I picked up for cheap. And they're about perfect for this. Now, it just picks up a little bit of that primer on the end of the bristles. I know it's hard to tell because the bristles are white anyway, the very tips. But I love this stuff. It not only keeps my dry skin hydrated, but it feels really good going on. I love Elf. I really do. Now, one of the things I am probably going to be doing going forward here, as we move through the rest of this bizarre year, is we all know I am constantly whining about my budget. So what I am going to be doing, since I really don't do reviews anyway, I may occasionally do something where I look at a new release and go through my stash and find alternatives. But for the most part, I'm just going to be doing chatting, get ready with me, using the stuff that I've got. And we'll see how that works out. Because, you know, August 28th will be two years on the platform. And I don't see where I'm getting ready to give up anytime soon. However, two years on the platform has netted me, depending on the day you look at it and the time of the day, about 200 followers. So I need to think of something a little different to see if I can find a different spot in the beauty niche that fits me better than what I've been doing so far. Now, I will still do collabs with people, and I don't mind if they're doing a, if, if the collabies are wanting to use a particular um, palette, because I will go through my stash, and I will find equivalents, as long as they don't mind. Yes, it's getting a little warm here. We're getting up into the 90s today. I don't have an actual air conditioner in my room. There are a few rooms in the house that have them, but not this room. What we picked up this year, because last year was ick, what we picked up this year is one of those little bitty things that you see advertised to stick on your desk but the one that we've got is rated to cover 400 cubic feet and that's about our bedroom and you just keep pouring water in we are in an area of high desert we're at the edge of the elkhorn mountain and then going towards Idaho, it gets more and more deserty as you go out. So we've got no humidity most of the time. Well, we've got some humidity, but it's so low. We hung laundry out on the line yesterday, and loads of clothes were getting dry in less than two hours because the humidity is so low, the water just goes... 
So we've got one of those little cubes that blows cool, wetter air into the room with us. And if I'd have been thinking, I'd have turned it a little more this way when I went to sit down here. As that cushion stuff I got in Ipsy. I just kind of pat it around a little bit. And then I get one of my foundation brushes and kind of buff it. Because I don't like just rubbing that little brush everywhere. It gets really nasty really quick. Picking up whatever else is on my face while it's spreading out the the foundation product. Now I'm liking this stuff quite a bit. It's really lightweight. And considering I put on earlier today sunscreen and and moisturizers and all that stuff. You know, it's one lighter layer. Hey, Meester, could you move and twist the box a little? My honey bunny came in doing stuff and he's resetting the little cool air blower to blow more this way. Thank you. He's so good to me. Now I'm only going to put a little bit, and I do need just a little bit of setting powder in a couple of places. Mainly because the foundation is not going to dry down that quick. And I want to be able to keep going and like put on the other stuff. I'm still not sure entirely why I'm doing this. I mean, I went out with just my moisturizers and sunscreen and stuff like that on way early this morning because I hate my car. Don't tell it, but I hate it. The air conditioner don't work. This is not the time of year for that. And let me tell you, if I get too warm, this little nitro patch that I have to wear to keep the nitroglycerin in my system because my little ticker don't work right, it tries to drop more medication when it gets warm. Yeah, not such a good idea. Anyway, my car does not like the heat. My car, my car is getting on my last nerve is what it is. my car, it's got something going on that whenever it gets, to, and it doesn't show up on the water or the oil or anything like that. It just gets too hot somewhere and stops running. It doesn't care if I'm in the middle of the freaking freeway. It'll just stop. And you have to wait for it to decide it's cooled down enough before you can move again. Let me tell you, that is not my best luck. 
because I get furious. We are hoping here shortly to be able to scrape together enough to find another vehicle. We're working on it. Because I'm getting real, real tired of that cotton picking car just stopping. It's an 06 Nissan Altima that I've got. God help me. Third or fourth hand at this point. I'm not sure anymore. But when my daughter-in-law went into a wheelchair, she needed a bigger vehicle. She got a sizable SUV. I got her car, which is because we traded in my busted car to go on the SUV. So I got her car. Now, before we, just before we left Florida, it started this thing of just getting hot, not wanting to run right. We took it to a couple of different places, and everybody had their own theory. Let me guarantee you, we didn't get anything fixed. For one thing, Florida is bloody expensive for everything. Just, God help me, expensive. So, we ended up not getting it fixed, fixed. There were a couple of people who managed to get some of the symptoms to settle down. You know, like some doctors do. They get some of the symptoms to settle down. And I'm like, all right, well, make do with that for the time being. And we went along for a while, and then the air conditioner quit. Now, let me tell you something about no air conditioner in Florida. You need an air conditioner in Florida every day of the year, except maybe the two days of winter. I'm talking for real here, two days. You might get two days that somebody might think it's kind of wintry weather. You know, it might get down to like 45 or something. That's Fahrenheit, guys. And let me tell you, the rest of the time, you run that AC. You don't. Turn it off. You just stay with your AC because the humidity there. If you want to know what it's like in Florida on a hot day with humidity, if you have never experienced this, take a big fluffy towel, get it sopping wet, throw it in the dryer for about 20 minutes. You know it's good and hot in there now. But you also know it's nowhere near dry. Now yank the door of the dryer open and stick your face in. And fight for a breath. I'm not kidding. <laughs> that is Florida weather. And it's like that almost all the time we moved down there and i thought i was going to die i mean the weather where we were on the eastern seaboard originally i was born and raised in virginia in alexandria virginia which is literally throw a rock across the potomac you hit dc let me tell you before lots and lots of places got into air conditioning, the military used to get tropical duty pay because Washington, D.C. not only is a swamp, but the city was literally built 
in and on a swamp. It's in the tidal marsh from the Potomac where the Potomac almost gets to Chesapeake Bay. It gets a, it goes a little farther down before it gets there, but the river is part of the tidal flow for the bay. So we've got mosquitoes the size of aircraft carriers. Some of them are as loud as a black hawk. But the humidity is a horror. It really is. It's just ew. Just ew. Ew. And I was so happy when my dad came home with that first air conditioner because it would get so sticky and nasty even at night that you couldn't sleep. You just couldn't. If you went to sleep, it didn't last long because you would wake up and have to wipe the sweat off your face because your eyes were burning. You'd have to wake up and get a drink because you were so dehydrated. I love that air conditioner. I really did. It was the bestest thing on the planet. It was wonderful. It kept things cool. I was a much happier kid. Much, much, much happier. Alrighty. Yes, I'm going to use a very bright orange. Okay, okay. We got that? We all right? Yeah. And yeah, I got a lie on my lips, which is not something I usually do. take one of my elf lipsticks which is called touch of nude and do that and then if I really 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 want to get up about this stuff. I can grab my gloss from AOA Studio called Hard Candy. And stick a little of that on here too. Anyway, the classy cake formula goes on like butter. It's gorgeous. Absolutely gorgeous. I've got, what I've got on here is Glam Burger. Hi, Danielle. And I put on Sandra Bell. On this part of the eyelid and then I've got Miss Anya here for the rest of the highlight stuff including the final inner corner oh yeah 
this is going to be sticking around and I will have to have more. I just can't handle it. Anyway. Yes, I've got kind of a corally orange shirt on. Now I've got a corally orange look on. Any complaints? Yes, I know. I rambled all over the place in this one. Actually, that's a lot of what I do when I do these just chatty things. There's no telling where I'm going to start, where I'm going to stop, where I'm going to end up. Anyway. That's this one. There's your look. Oh, crap. I forgot my mascara. The eyeliner I used is CoverGirl. This is a CoverGirl mascara. I need to get back into using my lash growth stuff. I got kind of out of the habit. I got kind of out of the habit of a lot of stuff with all this foolishness going on. Oh, we got the scare of a lifetime. It was starting to sound like my daughter-in-law, who is immunocompromised, and the oldest granddaughter may have caught the virus. And all of us in the house at that point just kind of stopped breathing. You know, I need to not stick this in my eye. It's only supposed to go on the lashes, not in the eye. I can clean up that little bit. Yeah, see, I've got little little spots right under there where I got it in my eye, and the eyelid slammed down and pushed the brush onto the face. Okay, now this look with the mascara. Anyway, yeah, we thought that my daughter-in-law and the oldest granddaughter had gotten the play. They were both having symptoms that were close. Neither one of them was having horrendous trouble breathing, but it wasn't pretty. And I'm immunocompromised and have lung issues already. And my daughter-in-law's mom has lung issues. So we're all going, oh, holy hoo-hoo. And we all stopped breathing for a while. Turns out the granddaughter is dealing with allergies. She's from a different section of the state. So we've got a few different things going on here. And apparently she's also a bit allergic to the new puppy. Oh, well. Anyway, that's being dealt with. My daughter-in-law apparently was having a problem with allergies and the fact that she's not terribly mobile means that anything that affects her breathing gets magnified so no plague no plague none no plague i have never been so blooming scared in years. I can't say in my life because I have been very sick on several occasions. But let me tell you, it's been years since I've been that scared. Anyway, wear your mask, behave yourself, 
if you're in the U.S., in the description box below, we have a link to go register to vote. If you haven't used it yet, get on it. There are also a couple of links down there that are that will take you to locations where if you have a social conscience poke here and there, they have places you can either work with or donate to to help with the current upheaval we're going through. Let's see. What else? Wear your mask. Damn it. Um, I've got still a bunch of stuff that I've picked up recently that will be feature pieces in future videos. I've got a new collab coming up with Angie from 4F Beauty. And stay out of trouble. I don't have bail money. I'm saving up for another car. No, it will not be a new car, but it's got to run and it's got to have air conditioning. Know anybody with a car that wants to get rid of it? Anybody? Anybody? See you next time. Be good.